Hello everyone, I am King Mac, and I'd like to thank you all for watching this feature presentation on YouTube. Be sure to enjoy a hot fresh cheeseburger, along with some french fries, and a tasty milkshake, and a nice soft drink. Thank you all for watching, and here is our feature presentation of TT Burger Remastered Game Reviews on YouTube. Hello my friends, how y'all doing today? You are watching TT Bird Game Reviews here on YouTube, and I'm your host Tony. In fact, let me take that back. This is another episode of TT Bird Remastered Game Reviews here. Now I know I've been doing a lot of remastered game reviews here, but I promise you the the, the original game game reviews will, will return very soon. I promise you all that. We're gonna continue with the remastered game reviews here. This is episode 9, and this is gonna be episode 9 in five parts and around part one of five. And before I get started here, one of your shout out to Free Green HD, Sub Zero, MNX King Mac, along with Step Hyper Lamnia, Brick Girls 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 Stateside, Black Healer and Meg, along with the Homie RJ, Call Gaming, Red Hood Assassin, The Sensational Gent, Hulk Ojira, and Rockstar Fool 69. And today I want to talk about fighting games. Those of you who have been following my YouTube channel for the last six years or so know that fighting is one of my, one of my favorite video game genres of all time. And I'm a huge fan, fan, fan of, of, of fighting games, many from the Tekken, Bloody Roar, Mortal Kombat, and more and more and more. And also Battle Royale Tatoshi as well, I thought that one there. That was one of the first ones on the PlayStation. And today we're looking at, at a fighting game series by the company Namco. And those of you who know, Namco was my favorite video game company back in the day with games like Tekken, Ridge Racer, Klonoa, um, Time Crisis, Ace Combat, and more and more and more. We're even looking at a, fi at a fighting game, game franchise here. It's a fighting game with weapons like swords and, and staffs and blades and everything. And that is the Soul series. Now, those of you who know the Soul series know the know, know of the Soul Calibur franchise. It started off on the Dreamcast and brought you way to PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4 and stuff and more. But there was a game that started off on the PlayStation itself. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about, about, about that later. Like I said, this episode will be broken up into five parts. In, in part one, we're going to be talking about Soul Edge, which is called Soul Blade in Europe and the United States. And then part two, we're going to look at Soul Calibur 2. Part three, we're going to zoom ahead to the PlayStation 2 exclusive called Soul Calibur 3. Then we're going to look at Soul Cal Cal Calibur 4, the PlayStation 3 version. And then finally, wrap this up with Soul Calibur 5. Now I know there's Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast, and there's Soul, Soul Calibur Legends, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, and Soul Calibur 6 and stuff, but first I gotta say, I don't own a Dreamcast, so I can't play it. They did release the version of the 360, but it's not on PlayStation 3, so I, I'm unable to play it. And Soul Calibur Legends was basically a, a Wii spin-off that really Lee, that really just was not very good. Soul Calibur Broken Destiny was a 4th Soul Calibur of Calibur 4. Soul Calibur 6, all a good game. Build a reboot now, care for reboots or anything. So we're going to do that. We have a lot to talk about here. Let's start with talking about Soul Edge, aka Soul Blade, for the PlayStation here. Released first in December 1995, the arcade of Soul Edge, then released a year, year later in May as Soul Edge version 2, which had, had, had some changes of difficulty and more characters. And then it was called Soul Blade, released on January 1997 in the United States as Soul Blade itself. Soul Blade was a fun fighting game, and definitely one of my all time, -time favorites. While Tekken 3 stands as my, my, the fighting game of my choice of all time, Soul Blade comes very, very close. Now this was a game when I was younger, I played this game to death, so much to, to the point where I pretty much, much drove my family crazy and because I kept playing so much and kept, kept wanting to play it more and more and more. It's like you have that one game where you just have to keep playing and Soul Blade was that for sure. My, I, I played this game to death, that's what I'm saying. And the memorable parts of Soul Blade were the gameplay, how the characters had weapons and everything and, and the, the variety of the characters and more and more and more. I remember first playing the arcade version of Soul Edge version 2 when I was on vacation in in downtown Illinois where I played as the character Songmina, Sofitia, Taki, and Baldo and stuff. And I thought to myself, this is awesome, this is cool, it's like Tekken with weapons and stuff. This came out it came out about around Tekken 2 by the time Tekken 2 was out and stuff and I knew I had to get the PlayStation version. I knew there was a PlayStation version because I saw Baldo and some of the characters in like in like an ad in the Tekken 3 guidebook and I got it for my birthday and I was totally blown by the game 
and it was nice to be, to be able to play at the comfort of my own home. Soul Blade still holds up really well as was one of the best fighters ever on the PlayStation. There are some small problems with the game that do affect giving you a perfect score, but while still being a very high score though, and you'll find out why. Let's get started here. The story takes place in the year 1583 in the 16th century, where transcending history in the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. This is a tale about warriors searching for the ultimate sword called Soul Edge that has been given many names throughout time. The sword has been searched for many, many years, only a few have found it. The sword is now in the form of, of twin pair longswords that appeared mysteriously at an auction and were taken seriously by the dreaded Spanish pirate, Cervantes de Leon, who just vanished and disappeared without trace. Now, nine warriors from all around the world are in search of Soul Edge for many reasons not, not known as evil, evil nature. Some seek it for power, some seek it for revenge. Some seek it for support, while others seek to destroy it knowing, knowing it, it, its evil nature and cruel power of the sword, because they know it brings misfortune to those who seek it. These warriors are on the journey to search for the evil sword. These warriors are Hishiro Michirugi, a samurai from Japan. You have Siegfried Stoffen, a German knight and the main protagonist of the, of the Soul series, who is trying to avenge his father's death. Taki, a ninja from <laughs> Japan. Li Long, a mercenary from China. Sophia Alexander, the daughter of, of a Greek bake, baker who becomes a young warrior at the age of 18, who is a favorite character in the game. Nathaniel William Adams, aka Rock, a young man searching for his parents, wondering if they are still alive, and wonders if the if Soul Edge will allow him to see his parents again. Song Mina, a Korean student being trained under her father Song Hamayong, seeking, seeking adventure and wants to prove to her father she is worth. Boldo, an Italian merchant who happens to be a fair male character in the game, who's 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 on the search of Soul Edge to, 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 to give it to his boss. Italian merchant Versi and Mer and stuff. Hong Song Gyeong, who's a student from Korea who wants to save his country by finding Soul Edge, and he is and he is and he is like, like he's the student of, of Song Hamayong, and who's pretty much the father of Song Mia. And then you have the final boss, Savantes de Leon, who has been cursed by the by the evil sword and becomes Soul Edge, like the final final boss. The story is great, a nice twist in the fighting in genre, and starts a great series with a lot, lot, lot of content to it. And you're gonna you're gonna be reading the manual to find stuff out or or, or play Edge Master mode, which is an exclusive mode to it, but that's the kind of topic there. For the presentation of Soul Blade, you have excellent graphics, look better than Tekken 2 and more. The character models are very detailed, they have facial expressions and motion character when they move around, so it's very, very realistic for its time. Sure, they may feel a little stiff when moving stuff, but you know, this is okay, this is the, this is the place that it's gonna be like this. The characters have cool looking costumes, they have five costumes for the most part. A main costume, which is which where you press square, a main guard costume, which is hold, which is hold, hold, hold the X button by pressing square, and they, can, and they can be selected by that, and you have color swaps by, by pressing triangle or hold the X press triangle, and yet in the circle button gives you, you the fan made costume that's suited to the PlayStation version. The environments also look detailed, especially with the day to night transition and realism to the graphics. Like, I remember like, like being a big fan of the other demo track mode and all the ways in which wanted to see, see the, the demos at nighttime because, I don't know, nighttime was, was very cool, like just when it went transition attack, it was just very cool for me. The weapon effects all look off, especially when you form a, criti a criti critical edge and a blockable attack. The endings of the arcade mode use the in-game graphics and while they may look a little bit blocky, the, the first time they look looked really good. The opening cutscene looks fantastic and, and cutting edge and stuff and it was definitely one of the best looking opening cutscenes in a video game for its time. The only problem with the graphics is that the frame rate slows down when the action gets hot, and a certain weapon you choose can slow the frame rate down too. Like, for example, when you play as Rock, he has these, these, these big ass, ass, ass weapons like, like a stone club or a warhammer. So, with him using those weapons, or some of the weapons, slows the frame rate down quite a bit, and it shows. It definitely shows. The sound of Soul Blade, excellent sound. I love the music. You have three soundtracks. You have the original arcade soundtrack using the arcade version, obviously. The arranged soundtrack, which is a remix of the arcade soundtrack, and then there is the Khan Super Session, which is its own soundtrack with completely original tunes. This soundtrack is the best of the three, and it amazed me that these songs are in this game and very memorable, especially the Sophie Sim and Mediterranean Call. And when I first got this game, I just stuck with it with, with the arcade soundtrack because you know I like the, like they make it as close to the arcade version. But I couldn't help it because the Khan Super Session soundtrack was the best, and it was amazing, and and, 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 and I just it was amazing. Hell, some of the songs even have lyrics to them too that are very catchy, especially like like the main theme and like the credit theme in the Edge Master mode and stuff. The voice acting is mostly good, while some of the actors not so good. The Japanese voice acting for the Korean, Japanese, and Chinese niece, niece, niece characters all sound good, even though they all speak Japanese, they're the best parts of the voice acting. The English actors for Sophie Tia, Voldo, and Rock were not so good. Lynn Harris, who's known for voicing Rebecca Chambers and and uh, Christy Ryan and stuff like uh, Lynn, uh, Rebecca Chambers from Resident Evil, Christy Ryan from uh, Time Crisis 2, and Rachel Pearson from Time Crisis 1, 
and she voices Sophie Tien. No normally, she's not my favorite, well, not not really my favorite actress, but here she actually does a decent job of voicing Sophie Tien. But the other English voice actors, not so much. I wish they would have kept it all in Japanese, and it would have been better. But what can you do? Gameplay of Soul Blade is very fun. Remember, one of the best games I ever played, despite some small complaints I have. What we have here is a fighting weapon similar to Battle Rear 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 Toshin did, but more polished out and better. Well, I mean, the Battle Rear Battle Rear Toshin 2 and 3 were more polished, well, except the first one, you know, we had problems at 2, go check out that review because I can, I can tell you that too. You have a handful of modes such as Arcade Mode, Verse Mode, Team Battle Mode, Time Attack, Survival Mode, and of course we have Edge Master Mode. Edge Master Mode is the game's third mode where you travel the world fighting opponents, searching and reaching for weapons along the way, and you're, you're looking for ultimate, ultimate character weapon you must get. By the time after you after the edge, edge master mode, mode, then you must go to one of the random locations that can find all the weapons to get to find your, your your ultimate weapon. The opponents must be defeated by certain methods like using the throw attack or surviving their attacks, knocking away the weapon or using unblockable for a quick, quick ledge attack, or strike them in the air to survive, or defeat them with little help or a little time limit, and more. Edge master mode has an exclusive substage fighting called the Coliseum, which is to do exclusively for the edge master mode, and I really like it and stuff. And it's, it's got like like an exclusive song it too. The critical ledge and unblockable attacks are, so, are some of the, cool, of the coolest attacks in the game. Seeing the attacks done and mastering them makes you feel like you did a good job and well done. The critical ledge attacks are a two part part method where you press a triangle, square, and circle buttons together. Then after that you, you, you finish it by the attack with the correct buttons and there you go. The unblockable attacks are, are the same with how much, much damage they do but you press the right direction on the, on the directional pad along with, with, with the right button on but one, the right face button and there you go. Movements will give you information and stuff, but I just, just shall let, shall let you know. The move the, the move list does not does not say square, triangle, circle, X like that. They say like like A, B, K, and G, which is which is like um which is like um for like, like arcade stuff. You'll know which attacks which which by like the color of the letters and stuff. Like A is, is purple, so you hit square. B is tri B is green, so you hit triangle and stuff, and you get that. The the unblockable bolt attacks are the same with how much damage you do. You press the right direction on the direction pad, and then then the press the right button, then they. Oh. You have a great list of attacks such as throws, combos, and more, and Master Game will be an enjoyment. No matter which character you pick, they all will feel different. No pal swap of characters or anything, which is a plus in variety. For me, I enjoyed Sofiti the best along with Songmina and Taki. You also have the unlockable creatures, which can be unlocked with, with different methods. You have Song Han Hamayang, which is Songmina's father, and Huang, and Huang Song Hyung Sensei. He can be unlocked by, by, by beating the game with both Song Mina and, 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 and Huang Song Kyung. You have Eo, you have Evil Zigfried, who would become Nightmare. He's Zigfried with the ex at the ex exclamation point in the character selection, like Shin Roth, like Session Screen. And you can unlock him by by beating Edge Master Mode with Zigfried. Which beat with no armor, which is basically beat beats so so Sophia with Edge Master Mode. And then, then, then the, the ultimate, ultimate reward by, by beating the game with everybody in the Edge Master Mode is Sophia in her swimsuit costume. The arcade enemies also have a twist to them, mainly because you get alternate the good enemies by pressing a certain button or buttons on the controller when the black bars on the screen disappear during the ending. You have to look up online which buttons to press because they do not tell you what to do in the game. It's kind of like a quick time event, but they don't tell you what to do. The game sure was an impact for me playing in the arcades on vacation when, when I was out younger and was a bigger impact when I played on the consoles. The slogan for this game was, if you thought Tekken 2 was tough, take a stab at this. And I did that, and I enjoyed that. But now we have the negatives. The game could be pretty difficult at times, especially Cervantes in the original arcade version. Cervantes was considered unbeatable due to how tough he was. He was toned down though, difficulty wise, in, in Soul Edge version 2, and since then, he, he's been the same since. But Cervantes and Dejan's system of opponents can be on the tough side and stuff because they'll try to block almost all your, your, your attacks sometimes, especially when you're unblockable stuff. They'll just sidestep away and everything. And with, with, with the moon jump thing, too, yeah. It, 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 it'll it'll rip, your, rip, 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 rip your hair out of frustration. Pulling off some of the moons can be a little on the rough side because you have to press the buttons really hard so they will not register, especially the critical edge moves because. Some of the critical ledge moves you have to have to press like like down forward forward square next together or or down or, or like half circle and then this and that and stuff and you have to press them at the right time or else they will not register and I have wasted my my weapon my weapon health meter by doing this. I've ever mentioned you how you have have a weapon meter too that that, 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 that when, when when you block your when you block your your your, your opponent's attack slot your weapon will get weaker and you will lose the weapon and stuff and and you will have you'll be you'll your voice, your fist and stuff like that, but doing the critical the critical edge moves take, takes away a chunk of your uh, of your of, of your your weapon meter, but you know it, it's understandable, and it's the reason why why the controls feel stiff at times they do not register at times. I also mentioned the the frame rate, the English voice acting of, of of the four characters that speak English, and some of the weapons you get in Edge Master Mode are weak. 
But those only complaints I have it though, it's still an excellent game that should not be overlooked. Final no thoughts, if you really want to see how how, how the Soul series began before Soul Calibur, Soul Legend and Soul Blade should not disappoint you at all. I give the game a 9.5 out of 10 because of the small quiz I had with it, but it's a game that should not be overlooked at all, especially if you want a fighting game with weapons and stuff, and it, it's balanced with well and everything. And that's it for episode 9 of my TD Bear Master Game Reviews part 1 of 5. Stay so tuned for the next part we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna dive into the PlayStation 2 here, which we're gonna take a look at Soul Calibur 2, which was released on PlayStation 2, Xbox, and Nintendo GameCube, which which had exclusive characters to each console version version for the matter which version you got. And how does this game keep game fair from from Soul Blade? Wait at the final that's all I gotta say. I will not be covering Soul Calibur because I don't own a Dreamcast or so, or an Xbox 360, so I won't be able to look at it. But I, I'm sorry for that, so. But that's pretty much all I got to say. This is Tony. Peace and out. Have a day. See you all in my review of Soul Calibur 2. Take care, everybody.